Hi, Firestarter here, and welcome to my review of the Soul of Choco King Battle Fever Robo, the first Super Sentai Robo that came out of the franchise. And we have here the box, it says here Battle Fever J Robo at the bottom. The robots, um, Battle Japan, Soul Chogokin logo GX30. And it says on the bottom the 30th anniversary because this line was released during the um, Bukender uh, anniversary series. So um, that's the reason why they suddenly thought of releasing old Super Sentai Robos, such as Battle Fever J Robo and a Bandai Toy Company, and some of the things that you want to know about um, Battle Fever J Robo or the Battle Fever Robo. And the back says some of the accessories that he has. Well, he has a lot of things that he can do with. Um, using those weapons on Battle Fever Robo and I'll just want to show you quick what's inside because unlike other toys that you have right now this came in a um, styro and I just want to show you even um, what's inside like here the um, first layer comes with all of the accessories that Battle Fever J has a pamphlet stating that on this line they also released some of the Super Sentai Robos even the not so latest ones like Magic King, Deca Ranger Robo and note that this, these are on the Soul of jo Chogokin line not the Super Robo Chogokin or the SRCs so that's one thing you have to note about um, Soul of Chogokins because uh, as you can see here um, they already released really some but they are kind of rare as of the moment. So that's all I can say now and let's go through the accessories then um, I'll show you Battle Fever J or Battle Fever Robo. Battle Fever Robo comes with a premiere stand it says here at the bottom um, Soul of Chogokin. Let me just zoom in closer it says here at the bottom soul of chogokin and then we have the battle fever j name and the only thing i want to show you closer is the denkoken or his premier sword um here we have let me just show you it is on a scabbard and you can remove that nicely and you can see here a nice shiny die cast metal sword with uh, of course the handle says there um, it has the letters A C F K J uh, it means um, America, Cossack, France, Kenya and Japan and it says here also at the other side of the sword um, let me just show you closer to see more detail on it it's a um, classic katana blade with um, some details that says uh, or that distinguish this sword to Battle Fever Robo. Quite nice. And let me show you again this cover that holds the um, sword. Very detailed and very very heavy. And you can put that back in. The good thing about the stand is that there are like um, feet rests here so you can just place Battle Fever Robo on top and it holds the robot really well. Other accessories that came with Battle Fever Robo is the Den Koken as mentioned earlier. The Sword Fever, there are two like small swords. Attack Lancer. The Chain Clasher which holds the Attack Lancer. The Stick Attacker. The Cane Knocker and Battle Shield which has the B and F characters on it signifying this is a Battle Fever Robo, a Fever Axe, and the Knuckle Puncher. Since this is a Chogokin, most of these accessories are in die cast and it really feels heavy on Battle Fever Robo. 
all of these accessories snug well on the Robo and allows more possibilities for battle fever. And this is the actual figure. Um, let's go through most of the articulation points. We got the head and neck joint, shoulder pads to flip up and down, swivel on upper bicep, and sort of a ratchety feel for the whole arm. Single jointed um, elbow. Um, it's, it just have a uh, swiveling hand, but it doesn't have, go up and down because it is locked. And um, we have upper torso, waist, Really nice 360 if you want to. No! Ooh. And um, we have a swiveling upper hip, a sort of a knee joint, but it doesn't go that far because uh, the plastic here and the die cast shin here does have some limitations. But uh, with a little bit of push, you can fold that knee. But again, there's somewhat a limitation in most of the action poses because when you move the leg to the right or to the sides, um, it doesn't have that much of a like split movements. And we have a swivel here and we have also a swivel on the toe and sort of a swivel also on the ankle and again as mentioned since this is Chogoken most of the parts here are in die cast the only thing I um, feel that it is not on a die cast would be this part where you can insert the swords the smaller swords and these sort of upper kneecaps they are in plastic and of course also the hands are in soft plastic Another addition to this is that there is a latch here that you can open to showcase the neck chain, um, neck chain which holds supposed to be one of the weapons for Battle Fever. Most of the solo chobokins have really good paint applications on metal just like for example the legs here and the arms or the gauntlets and of course the sort of accent here is also in die cast. So how much this uh, guy costs, it depends on where you buy it. Because this robo is one of the rarest ones. So it depends on where you got it. It could hike more than $200. So if you want to know the possibilities for this figure, do check out the photos at the end of the video and do subscribe to my blog spot for the full written review. This is Far Starter. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next review.